Um, just woke up from a nap. Still kind of tired, but I woke up and for some reason was like, I'm gonna make a video. So that's uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make another video. So, <laughs> um, I have a few covers on the way right now. I've got like uh, three that I'm working on at the moment. It's been kind of great. I've been on a roll right now as far as ideas are concerned instead of like sticking to one cover, pushing it out, and then waiting for weeks on end to get another idea. I just, I just keep on getting a whole bunch of ideas and I've got like three of them in my editor and what I'm planning to do is just after work every day come home and pick one of them, work on them a little bit, um, just work on each one a little bit so that I can keep pushing out content and uh, yeah, you guys just keep giving me your feedback. If I fucking suck, I wanna know. Um, you guys tell me and how you think I can improve, etc. Or if you think that my covers are great, then awesome. Uh, share that shit around. Help me get my name out. I'll love you for it. And I really appreciate the support from everyone. All right, without further ado, uh, I went to a show recently. Um, saw my buddies in Fighting the Phoenix, which also, if you are not familiar with their music, go check them out. I'll put a link to uh, their Facebook page in the description. Uh, good buddies of mine, they're real fucking good. Uh, and then, what was it? They were on a tour, um, I believe it, I believe it was a Stay Sick Records tour, and these bands, like, their tones were so fucking good. Uh, kick, uh, kick drums, uh, guitars, every, almost everyone was using uh, Axe effects for their guitars, so the guitars sounded super fucking, like, punchy. Tones were just on point that night. Um, but apart from sound quality, band quality wise, these bands were fucking amazing. Um, check out, I'm trying to think, uh, there was, I'll put uh, the flyer up here somewhere. Yeah. Sentinels, um, Degrader, Mother Sound, and Fighting the Phoenix. I, oh, I'm so sorry, I feel so bad, but I can't remember the first band's name. Watching these bands made me, uh, realize uh, that if you're a local band and you're just starting out and you wanna wow the crowd, it it does come down to your music, absolutely. Um, Cause without music, you're not a fucking band. <laughs> but one thing that I have noticed from a lot of, uh, a lot of starter out bands are None of them fucking move on stage, and <clears throat> it's it's boring to watch. If I'm being 100% honest, my band even did it. So don't think that I'm like shitting on other bands, and you know mine is so much better, because it's not. <laughs> um, that was one thing that kind of irritated me about Enlighten the Masses was there were like. We would constantly get new members, and don't get me wrong, um, all of them were great guys. I loved them all wholeheartedly. Um, they, you know, they were great friends. Everyone was fucking great. I loved them all. But there were a select few members um, that just didn't fucking move. I mean, like, I guess everyone's got their own way of, like, rocking out and shit. But if you're a band and you're performing and you want your crowd to move, the crowd needs to see the band fucking moving. If the band isn't moving, the crowd's not gonna do shit. If you want mosh pits going, if you want that floor opening, everyone jumping and shit, you need to be jumping, you need to be doing like crazy spins and shit like that. That's how you're gonna wow your audience when you're on stage, I feel like. Um, Cause I know when I go to shows and I see a band that's like, you know, just kind of rocking out, just kind of chilling. The crowd is doing the exact same shit. I mean, you're going to have a select few people who are like, you know, 
all right, let's give these guys a break, you know, and start a mosh pit kind of thing. And you see like two, three people like pushing each other around. It's not really a mosh pit, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I feel like if you want that response from your crowd as a starter out band, you need to fucking move your ass on stage. Plus, that's what really grabs an audience attention, I feel like, and makes them fucking remember you. Like, <clears throat> um, for between Fighting the Phoenix, Bermuda Skies, and Fall Through Never Fail, three great fucking bands that I've been friends with, and all of them had, I mean, aside from really good music, in my personal opinion, put on a great fucking show when it came to stage presence. Um, they all uh, would jump in sync um, during breakdowns. Uh, some of them had stomps. Uh, I'm trying to think. Some people would even, like, especially, the, well, the guitarists specifically, they would do spins and shit, and it just really, it makes the, the crowd feeds off of that energy. If you're having fun up there, we're pumped and ready to have fun too, you know? Front men, front men, front men, front men. Um, don't stay in the center of the fucking stage. That, like, it's just, you need a metronome around that stage, you know what I mean? That's, um, and I am by no means a perfect front man. I also have so much shit that I need to work on. But I'm telling you right now, that metronoming and going back and forth left and right sides of the stage is so much fucking better than just staying in the center. If you're really wanting to leave a mark on your audience as a front man, besides just talking to them, make, pick a few and make eye contact with them. <laughs> as awkward as that may feel, especially if you're just starting out as a front man, believe me, it used to feel very awkward to me, but when you're in the moment and you're into your music, it does not fucking matter. Um, just pick some people out in the crowd and make lock eyes with them. Scream in their face or sing in their face, whatever it is that you do. Um, I know that I am comfortable enough now performing that uh, when it gets to certain parts and certain songs that I will jump off stage and I will get up in your girl and I will scream my heart out and it feels amazing because you're giving the audience that experience. Not only are you giving your audience that experience and making that much greater of an impact, but like, that's that's a moment for you as a front man too. You're just releasing all of it and it feels amazing. Um, also, uh, face the crowd as well. Don't, don't do this shit where like, your head is down constantly. Like, I mean, you know, a few times or whatever, you just kinda, you know, it happens, whatever. But don't, don't just like put your head down and like, what's up guys, we are this band. Um, go check out merch in the back. That looks fucking awful and not confident whatsoever. Um, we're like going back and just talking to your drummer. Your drummer's your drummer. He's back there to have fun just like you and be your metronome and keep you guys in sync. He's part of the band. Um, Turn around, buddy. The audience is out there. You need to connect with them and tell them that your merch is in the back. Go check out your merch. Go check out all the other bands. Lock eyes with a few every once in a while as you're talking as well. Um, and when things get awkward, uh, embrace the awkward, I feel. It is when things get awkward, you just, you know, awkward moments happen. Don't get embarrassed on stage. That is your worst enemy is getting embarrassed. Um, when it comes to embarrassment, the best thing to do is to fucking laugh at yourself. Just laugh it off, or just call yourself out as a fucking idiot. That's what I love doing. When I fuck shit up on stage, when I fuck something up, I'm just all like, sorry, I'm a goddamn retard, this next song is called blah blah blah. That's, that's how I get away with it. <laughs> also, some in sync, get some choreography going. I mean, you're not dancers on stage, granted, but, Put on a fucking show, and don't, also, don't just, if you get lights, don't just let the lights do, do the work. The lights are there to support and help put on a better show as well. Light up ego risers are cool and shit, but make it look like you're, you're, you own the fucking stage. That is your stage, you guys are destined to be there. 
that's how you're gonna make it look like you like you know what the fuck you're doing <laughs> but those are some tips I guess um, take them into account and if you've watched this video and you feel like you've improved or whatever let me know I'd love to hear it peace guys I'm tired of